Hi, it's Bernie Goldbach on the 13th of November, 2011, and I'm making a short video with audio going over to audioboo.fm stroke talk gold of the Sunday business post. Now I'm constrained by life, domestic life, and also by my intention to have a look at the Sunday business post app on iOS. And I'm doing that while in the background, uh, a little backup process is going with see, its crash plan. And I'm trying to back up some stuff. So you may hear some noise from the fan or from an old hard drive that I've rescued because um, it just didn't work through the housing anymore. So I tore it apart. I'm just using the skeleton of it. I do technology. I work at LAT.ie where I teach people how to do technology and communicate in circles or on Twitter or on Flickr or on Facebook. First, back to the news. Last week, I pulled the news down as it was occurring on the app on iOS last weekend. I had a look at what was there in the news and um, it was depressing. So I was really happy this week to get a, a look at what's leading off the news, and that's happy news around uh, Michael D. Higgins elected uh, to heal the nation, presence of, of, of Ireland. Some other, some sad news. Yeah, maybe the cabinet will scrap all grants for post-grad courses as reported on the front page by Pat Leahy and Neve Connolly. Or maybe it's just a wind-up to get people softened up for partial cutting of those grants. Don't know. There's some good commentary about all what I'm saying here today on Google+, Plus, and I'll get to the link there later on. Other news inside the paper. Good stuff about what's happening with regard to Ireland and the pigs of Europe. Uh, that would be Portugal, Italy, Ireland, Greece, and Spain. Permanently, there's an entitlement culture that runs rampant th around all of the EU. And the crisis that's currently hitting a lot of the countries and the economies of those countries is that it's really tough to, to downshift once you've gotten used to an entitlement culture. And there's going to be challenges ahead for all the ministers across the uh, Irish and the European realm to see if they could do things like maybe cut salaries. That's one of the possibilities. You know, let's make everybody who works for uh, the public sector in Ireland limited to 150,000 euro, and let's, let's make sure that their pensions don't get out of the limit. The problem is, lads, there's an entitlement culture out there, and there's natural justice in Ireland, and yada, yada, yada. It's probably never going to happen. You could probably try to stop people from getting hired at the rate in which they start work for the public sector, but fair to see if you get it to happen, people that are already calcified in the system. In Ireland, there was a, a bad thing that happened about a year ago, where a, a young a Russian artist was attacked in her own flat by a crazed man who cut off her fingers. And um, because of where she lives in Ireland and uh, who she is, Russian, she doesn't have any entitlements to any kind of uh, fitting of prosthetic limbs. And yet if you're a prisoner in the Irish uh, system and uh, you're bothered by the scar on your face, you can get that kind of surgery. So Adams of Black Rock is accepting work for an auction called Art for Alexandra auction and the money going to be used, proceeds used to pay for the artificial limb for that artist. Good news, Dublin-based Mobile Solutions, that company called the Now Factory has been named Company of the Year. The Irish Software Association made that award. They also do some, a really good gig, really good annual gig. Good model for revenue on the back of mobile operators needing special services to run their network. Another of opinion, and it concerns where you would go to hang out online to meet your friends. And Adrian Weckler, the technology editor, gave Google Plus a look and tried its features and wasn't impressed and left. And as I point out in a blog post, um, you know, it's not a matter of numbers. And quite frankly, you know, if your friends like Twitter or they get along on Facebook or you, you know where the gigs are because you use Foursquare, stick with somebody that works. You cannot assume everybody's going to follow you to where you are going to go. Social networks have a unique function for stuff they do. Go where the function works for you. And if Google Plus doesn't work for you, off you go. This network called Google Plus is more business related than some of the others that are out there. And if business is in the publication's name, i.e. Sunday Business Plus, maybe there deserves to be some form of premium content lodged in there to private circles of premium subscribers who would be liking that kind of special treatment. Anyway, we'll you see the rest of the story there. t 9e forward slash number four, Adrian. And you could do it on an Xperia, an X10 Pro. I wish I could use a handset like the X10 Pro or like my Nokia E7 and see the Sunday Business Post, but I can't. So I'm going to turn it on. 
look for the website. It takes forever to load. That's the bug center website. I wish the business post website was optimized for mobile lads. I'm paying to get it. Why can't it be optimized for the handset that I want to get it in? And another thing that relates to these handheld devices. I mean, these are mini computers. The X10 is a mini computer. So is the E7. And there's a what, two or three page article, well, at least a two page article in the Sunday Business Post dealing with security. I think Ritz has bought the commercial profile section. They're talking about looking, having to lock down things like laptops and mobile devices when someone's being being um, pushed away from a company or fired. <laughs> I've got more mobile devices than people can count. And I've got uh, memory devices that are in the cloud that I doubt a company would be able to see. I mean, if something's really important to me and I'm going to shift it, I'll shift it using an app called Evernote or I'll pop it into a Dropbox or a SkyDrive or I'll carry it on an 8 gig chip that's smaller than the fingernails of my own my hand, or I'll carry it on a two gig chip that I can walk on in my shoe. So you're not gonna find all the stuff that people can push off through the cloud or push off through uh, small devices that they can carry it. I can read a USB key on that Nokia E7. Try that on another device. Okay, other stuff that's in the Sunday Business Post. I looked up my name because I am interested in that. Look, I go back to 2005 in a uh, tech forum idea. So I, you know, I think a lot of guys who are um, following the Sunday Business Post would actually do that. They'd use the search facility in the Sunday Business Post to see are they there in the Sunday Business Post, their brand name, competitor's name, or their own name. I'm doing some stuff on uh, the rest of the day here. Part of it is listening to Nick Belton and his book, in the future but the big activity is actually outside the front garden which i might try to mow because it's 13 degrees celsius out there today i've also got uh, a chance to mark the landscape here you can see the wind's blowing the leaves are gone blue sky overhead and there's plenty of opportunity for me in a dry environment today to finish the job i've started which is taking care of the wall by insulating it with expanding foam catch up with me on twitter at top gold thanks for listening i'm bernie goldbach i communicate in circles